Such incredible style and features at such great value. It's gonna feel like you stole it. They'll never take us alive. Never! And it's fun to pretend you did. Suzuki. Victoria's Solar Homes rebates are still available. Google Kevin Prince Solar. Part of the Ace Radio Network, 88.9 and 93.7 Mix FM. 13 degrees in Melbourne, mostly sunny tomorrow, a top of 14. It's 5 o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Tony Tardio. Opposition leader Matthew Guy continues to refuse to say when he became aware his former chief of staff had asked a Liberal Party backer for $100,000 for his private business. Mitch Catlin was forced to resign over the revelation. He's now been replaced by Mr Guy's longtime friend and Liberal Party election candidate Nick McGowan. When pressed by Tom Elliott, Matthew Guy said he's got nothing to hide. Something that was never agreed to, that was never signed... No money ever changed hands, ever. How about someone talk to the Premier about red shirts again? No. How about someone talk about the three corruption commissions the government is facing? No. Mr Guy has also refused to comment on a Mitch Catlin email which suggested he was aware of the request for money. Tom, if I'd agreed to something, why did it never take place? All you have to say is, I first heard about it at this point in time, and then you can say, did you agree to it or did you not? Did you knock it on the head, for example? Tom, I'm not going through all this. I've done this a whole week. A court has heard a teenager who escaped from Malmesbury Youth Justice Centre should be returned to an adult prison after he was captured this morning. Kiara Parker reports. Matthew Pascopo escaped from his cell on Saturday night by smashing plaster ceilings and getting into the roof cavity. The 19-year-old absconded with 22-year-old Seamus Tui, who is still on the run. The Malmesbury Youth Justice Centre has been in lockdown since the pair escaped. Pascopo instigated the escape. Police tracked him down at a residential address in Ballarat this morning, where he was taken into custody without incident. He faces additional charges of escape lawful custody and criminal damage. Pascopo had only been in Malmesbury less than a fortnight. The hearing was told he didn't want to go back to youth justice, hoping to be returned to the adult system. Magistrate Ron Sains acknowledged numbers inside Malmesbury are high and there are challenges with staffing and security. The matter will return to court next month. In Melbourne, Kiara Parker, Nine News. A push to give aged care workers better pay is receiving bipartisan support. The Health Services Union has been advocating for a 25% salary increase for almost two years. The federal government will back a significant increase in a submission to the Fair Work Commission. Opposition leader Peter Dutton says it's a good move. Former seeker Bruce Woodley says he was fortunate to be able to speak to Judith Durham on the phone just hours before she died at the weekend. Judith's family has accepted the state government's offer of a state funeral. Woodley says he didn't realise at first how good a singer Judith was when he first asked to join the band performing at a South Yarra coffee lounge. I thought it was good. It was reasonably unrehearsed. We just had a bunch of songs we used to rip into down there. They were pretty rough and ready and it wasn't until we started doing more work together that it dawned on me that this could be uh, a very special sound. A work is underway to build a one-kilometre trench removing two of Melbourne's most dangerous level crossings at Glen Huntley. The Frankston line will be lowered, eradicating the crossings at Neerham and Glen Huntley roads. In finance news, the share market up nine points, the dollar buying 69.29 US cents. Sonia Gillingham knows the Hamilton property market. Call Sonia at Groves Real Estate. The Western Bulldogs have re-signed one of their best young players. Bailey Smith commits to remain at Witten Oval until the end of 2024. Collingwood's Jamie Elliott has signed a new three-year deal that will see him remain at the Pies until the end of 2025. Carlton's waiting to find out whether skipper... 
Patrick Cripps can face Melbourne at the MCG on Saturday night. The match review officer could suspend him for a bump, which can cost his opponent. Nick Kyrgios has become the first tennis player to win the Washington Open singles and doubles titles in the same year. The Australian beat Yoshihito Nishioka before teaming up with Jack Sock to defeat Ivo Dodig and Austin Krajacek. It's five past five. That's the latest in news and sport. If you have an unwanted tree that needs removing or trees that are encroaching on fence lines, Barco can sort it out. They're your local accredited professional team and one-stop shop for tree lopping and traffic management. The next time you try a McCafe coffee, you'll be enjoying the delicious taste of Australia's most popular barista-made coffee. Just one of many reasons to try McCafe. It's hard to believe that some people buy beds out of town. Makes you wonder if they've ever been to beds. And if they know how good the staff are and the time they spend making their customers happy, shopping elsewhere is a bit silly, really. Beds of Portland. The Mix FM's business of the month. Mix FM, your official emergency roll. broadcaster. So hitting the open road on your next outdoor Mix adventure, FM weather. Edith Fox, and Sarah well Gradian's livestock and real estate. Property consultant for Portland and surrounds. There's a frost warning for the southwest and partly cloudy for the rest of your Monday with light winds and a chilly overnight low of 2 degrees. Partly cloudy again tomorrow with morning fog and more light winds, a top of 15. Wednesday, they'll be cloud about with a late shower or two and a max of 12 degrees. And Thursday, cloudy with a very high chance of showers and a high of 14. Tomorrow, looking at a top of 15 for Hamilton with Warrnambool, Portland and the coast also heading for 15. Harvey Norman Hamilton, your laptop specialist. At the moment, it's 11 degrees.